Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. I wanted to do a quick haul video showing you guys a few new things that I recently purchased at Sephora and kind of sharing these things with you because I know that two of these products in particular are going to sell out and I wanted to kind of share this so that you get an opportunity to buy them before they sell out because I think that they are really fantastic options to try different brands and the value that you are getting for the price that you pay is just, it's mind blowing how they are able to do that and give us so many great products at a great affordable price. So I wanted to share with you some of these kits and some just little little things here and there that I added that I was kind of curious about. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So if you shop at Sephora, then you are no stranger, I'm sure, to the Sephora favorite sets. They come out various times of the year, they put together these curated sets of products and I absolutely love them. Every time I see one that really captures my attention, I immediately order it. I don't take the time to think twice about it because I've done that in the past and they've sold out and I'm still on wait list for some of them to come back, which I've probably, I'm probably never gonna get to purchase those because they're probably not gonna come back in stock. That's just the nature of these kits. They're very limited edition. They're released at certain times of the year and then we're moving on to all the other new things and constantly new favorite sets are coming out and new things. I'm sure we're gonna be seeing some of the holiday and fall type of sets coming out very soon. So the first set that I saw that I had to jump on was the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Shine. So this is what it looks like. I haven't even opened it, so we will sort of look at the products. And I wanted to share this with you before I busted open this product and pulled everything out. So this one in particular is a great set because you get four full-size items. You get a full-size one size lip liner, a full-size Tower 28 jelly gloss, which is an incredible formula. You get a full-size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This one in particular is Pillow Talk Medium. I have the regular Pillow Talk, which I like. It's a cool classic. This is a bit of a deeper tone. This color specifically was sort of created for the medium skin tones, and then there's a deep option as well. So all skin tones are sort of covered with that Pillow Talk formula or color. And then the full size of the Laneige Lip Balm, which I have tried this before. I love the sleep mask, but this is a squeezy tube, which I think is just easier instead of having to put your finger in a little jar. You get a small size of the NARS lipstick and a small size of the Givenchy uh, Lip Balm. And then the NARS is the Power Matte Lipstick in Dragon Girl. So I'm excited because I don't normally use bold red lips, but that's a nice little bonus that's added here. And I'm glad personally for me that that red tone is not a full size because I don't normally wear those colors, but everything else, this just kind of speaks a little bit kind of fallish in a way for me because of the Tower 28 gloss and Sesame is a little bit deeper. And then the dark version of the, or the medium version of the Pillow Talk, which is darker than what I currently normally wear. I feel like that will kind of give me some options for the fall months that unfortunately are right around the corner. Um, so this is a great set. It's no more than 40 bucks for what you're getting. It's like I said, an incredible value. The other one, which is the bigger one and the one that I was super excited about, it's $49. <laughs> and it's the Sephora Favorites Gleamy Dreamy. Do you see how many products you get in this set? So you get four full sizes in this one as well, which I love when they do that because it just really sort of takes that value over the edge a bit because you're getting full size products. And if I were to purchase these four full sizes, I can almost guarantee that I'm already over that $49 price point. So in this set, you have a full size Patrick Ta lipstick, a full size Lawless blush, a full size milk makeup bronzer, which this is a shade that I don't already own, and a full size of the Summer Fridays lip balm. So let's just take a moment to talk about that lip balm. I have one upstairs in my bathroom. I put it on every morning and every night before bed and it is beautiful. It's rich, it stays on. I put it on at night when I wake up in the morning. I still have a lot of that left on my lips. It doesn't go anywhere. And I absolutely love it. I have the vanilla and that's the shade. I'm pretty sure that that's the one that's in here. Yes, vanilla beige is the one that's in here, which is a great everyday kind of lip balm. They do have some other colors that are a little bit more vibrant. And for a lip balm, the vibrancy and pigmentation off of those is unreal. And then of course the full sizes of everything else is just really great. 
You also get the Anastasia Brow Freeze, which I do have this product, so this is the only item in this set that's a duplicate for me. And what else? The Rare Beauty. You know what? I haven't tried this setting spray from Rare Beauty. This is the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. So that was another push for me to buy this because I wanted another Summer Fridays lip balm. I wanted to try the spray. And then when I saw that Lawless was included, I haven't tried the Lawless blushes yet. Believe it or not, my blush drawer is... It's embarrassing. And I don't have anything from Lawless except for the lip, forget the filler lip, what are the balms, plumpers, glosses, whatever they're called. Those are the ones that I have. So I'm excited to try that. Then you have a small size of one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Ilia Mascara. And this is the Limitless Mascara. It's one of my top favorites. It's in my top five for sure. It is an incredible formula for volume, for length, for thickness. It's everything you could ever want in a mascara. And then of course, Glow Recipe is included. These are the niacinamide dew drops. I have tried these before. I used to use these after cleansing when I was pregnant with my son and it added a little bit extra moisture to my skin because my skin was drier during pregnancy. But even now, as my skin is sort of going back to its normal um, ways, it's a great serum that you can really use with any product. There is nothing in that formulation that's going to interfere with active ingredients or serums or any sort of treatments and it just adds a little bit more glow to the skin and then I do personally like niacinamide in my skincare for that added brightness and also for a bit of oil control too so that's great and then you know the milk makeup you can't go wrong they're going to be really small like small but you'd be surprised at how you get over that small size when you realize how little product you really need to get the effect. So I'm excited about that. That's a great set. So don't sleep on this one. It's gonna sell out eventually. So it's $49. It's a great set for yourself to try. Or if you're thinking ahead for the, I can't believe I'm saying this, the holiday season, the gifting months that are ahead, you can start stocking up a closet or have a basket to start putting things for your loved ones in it and pick this up before it's too late. So that's a great option. Okay, so enough sets. I love Sephora favorites. I'm a huge sucker for them. Every time I see one, I have to have it. I'm like, gimme, gimme, because I want it all. Um, so I did add a few other things to my order when I was buying those because I was already on the app, so I figured, <laughs> why not, right? I picked up one of the new Rare Beauty uh, Cream Shadow Sticks, and it's all of the above weightless eyeshadow sticks. I picked up one shade in the tone called Contentment, which looks to be like a bit of a taupey, kind of rose goldy kind of shade. I felt like this would be really nice for those everyday one and done, kind of what I have on today, but today was more of a bronzy look that I went for. So I'm a sucker for these types of products, especially in the summer months. And then I picked up the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo from Give Beauty. I have not tried much from this line. I have one of their little mini lipsticks that came in a set. And then with the 100 point perks, I did pick up the mascara with this order. And their mascara is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. So the, that was 100 points at Sephora. And I want to try more from this brand because it seems like the products could be something that I would enjoy using. The price point is also really affordably priced for being a brand at Sephora. So I chose to try the bronzer. And this is in the shade Hidden Up. So there's two different colors. One is cream. One is a powder, so you can use them layered together, one or the other. And I just chose to go with a shade that I felt like was going to be, I guess, better suited for my skin tone. And this is what that color looks like. For my points, I also picked up the Hourglass Primer. It's been a while since I tried the Mineral Veil Primer. This one I do enjoy. I think it's a really nice sort of silky feeling primer that you could put on under any foundation. And it's been years since I've used this primer. I used to use it a long, long time ago, so I'm excited to revisit this. And then the last 100 point perk item that I picked up was the Liquid Matte Eye Tint. Um, this is the Liquid Powder from the Ilia brand, which I'm a huge, huge fan of the mascara, so then I thought, why not? The shade that was provided was Cork. I'm not sure if there was other options, but that's the one that I picked or that was there. So those were the newest sort of picks. And then the little sample, I did a video with these little guys. Don't throw these away. <laughs> Don't throw them away. I have a video where I did a full face using these bubble 
samplers, blister packs, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they're technically called, but these free that you can choose from or sometimes they're chosen for you and thrown into your order before they ship it to you. These are actually pretty good because you get to try different formulas, different colors. I have a basket tray thing full of them because I place orders all the time from Sephora and Ulta constantly throughout the month. So these are really great. I like this style because I get enough to actually try it more than once. The ones that are like little foundation cards, like little like a strip where it's like a swatch, that does mean nothing. So I don't even mess with those anymore. I go for the ones that look like this where you can actually get enough to really try a product. And this one is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And I like how they write the names on the back. I have a few that don't do that. But brands, listen up. If you're going to provide these, please put the name and color on it because that is very helpful for consumers. Okay, I'm off my soapbox, but I'm excited to try this. I don't remember if I've used this foundation before, the soft matte. That sounds very familiar to me. Now, I did go in store before I took a trip to purchase some things that I wanted for my trip. But I also, you know, Sephora, when you are heading to the checkout, they have this little section of impulse, you know, and I don't know about you, but for me, it it, it's, it just draws me in. I swear, they they put something in the air in that store <laughs> because every time I go in there, I walk out with like hundreds of dollars worth of things when I went in for just one thing, one darn thing, and I walk out with a bag full of stuff. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't really get what's going on. It's got to be something in the air. It really, it has to be <laughs> because I don't even know. Anyways, I saw the House Labs lip oil. I've been wanting to try these for some time and they recently came out with mini sizes and this was in that impulse section. There was like a whole section, just all of them right there. I picked one up and then I went on about my business, right? And then I thought, you know what? That seemed a little bit more in my head, the total. And when I look, this is actually a full size. So they put the full sizes in the impulse section of the travel sizes. So this sucker was $24. Am I going to return it? No, I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it. But this is the color... Let's see, this is the primary. So it's the one that's a little bit more on the bright pinkish side. It's kind of like a translucent pink shade. I don't know if it's any good. You know, again, they just kind of got me with this powder. This is the Givenchy powder. This is the Prisma Libre. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not even gonna pretend to know how to pronounce that, but it's the shade number two, Satin Blanc. Satin Blanc, okay? Again, haven't tried it. I'm going to probably use it on camera with you and give it a go. But I have really been enjoying um, my setting powders. I have the House Labs one, and then I love my Huda Beauty Easy Bake. So I really hope that this one can hang up there with the other two that I really like. This one is the mini sizes that recently came out before it was only full size available. And those, I think they're right around $60 or so. So this mini size was $29. 30, right at that $30 mark. So not bad because you do get quite a bit. And this one has four different colors. I've been burned before with these, <laughs> these powders with multiple tones, like the Makeup Forever one. It just, I, I just could not believe what it did to my under eye area. It was really bad. And I did a video on it, just very spontaneous. I turned the camera on because I had to share it. It was just, my under eyes looked blue, like baby pastel blue under my eyes it was awful so this one doesn't have any blue tones thank god because i would look like a clown so those are the new things that i purchased what else oh these are also new but i've been using them for quite some time and i wanted to show it where's the other product here um the natasha denona i picked up the shade called p1 in the high glam concealer i've used this a few times and i like it it's very creamy very hydrating so it's not like brand new like the majority of the stuff that I'm sharing with you, but I've used this before and it's good. I have to kind of keep playing around with it to let you know what my thoughts are, but this is definitely on the radar to share in a video. Then I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Blur. I've had this, I bought this when this came out and I'm just gonna include it in here because I have been using this and I love it. I am not a matte lip kind of girl. I love a good gloss. I love that juicy kind of full lip look and it's just not what you get with a matte lip. It just, it looks more flat. 
But this formula is beautiful, it's creamy, it's moussey, it glides on, it doesn't set immediately, it takes a while for it to dry down, and even then, it still has a bit of softness and creaminess to the texture. So I, I'm just, I love it. I love the color, I love the applicator. I just had to include it because if you have not tried this formula and you're looking for a matte lip that doesn't dry your lips out, for me personally, I cannot stand when a lip product dries my lips and I can feel my lips like almost as if they're shrinking on my face. I know that sounds dramatic, but it's true. It does. It makes my lips look like an old freaking raisin, like a stale raisin. And nobody, nobody wants that. It's not flattering. It's not cute. And I cannot stand it. For all of my newest products, most of it is pretty much new except these last two that I have not um, shared with you on camera, but I've used them off camera everything else is brand spanking new and we will crack into all of these things in an upcoming video coming up next week so thank you so much for watching for tuning in don't forget to subscribe for more haul videos for more products coming your way and you can follow me on instagram it's always going to be here on the screen i hope to connect with you there take care you guys and we'll talk very soon Bye bye